you desire and this is your first time welcome 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 um yes so i am in rome currently in the vatican museums and you're welcome to my rome vlog i hope you enjoy it because i definitely had a lot of fun making it enjoy this is the wall to the vatican hour just going inside to see the museum i'm pretty excited um and there are lots of people here a lot of people we needed a valid form of identification before we could enter the museum. You can either pre-book tickets online or buy your tickets inside the museum. And they also have guided tours in different languages if you'd like that. So this is the top of the Vatican Museum. It's really nice to look at. Look at that cupola there. I believe that's a cupola. of people here and um, we don't have a tour guide unfortunately so we're just going to like do things on our own um, but it's really beautiful so far and there's a lot to see Egyptian museum at all like anybody can touch it <laughs> about all these like African, Middle Eastern, um, Asian relics being in Rome. It's just like, can we return them? Can we just take them back to the real owners? It's not for here, but I mean. I really want to see the Sistine Chapel, so we're going to try to see it. Everything here is just absolutely amazing. Another fountain because Rome is not complete without a fountain. There are way too many things to see and do here. I can never finish it, not in one day. The Vatican Museum has so many things, extremely beautiful things, extremely well preserved. It's just, it's a wonder, honestly for years and years and years oh my god this is the essence of Jesus and his disciples and, and who is that man? the one that the... that's the angel yes. yes so Jesus is ascending to heaven these are his disciples yes this is who like is very important oh Judas is not here anymore because he already left Jesus yeah. so this is the massacre of the innocents Happened in 1524 to 1531. Very graphic stuff. Just killing babies. Look at that poor baby. Just look at the, the detail. The actual detail. You guys, the detail is amazing. Look at the ceiling. How? The apartment of one of the previous popes some centuries ago like imagine sleeping next to all of these is it creepy or is it cool i don't know we are getting closer to the chapel and this is just getting creepy at this point because why are there projections on the wall what is this getting to the Sistine chapel is turning into a very long journey but hopefully we get there soon because i'm getting tired like art is good but I'm, I'm tired like i've seen so much of it i'm just like i'm done finally we got into the sistine chapel and ideally you're not allowed to take pictures or videos in the chapel that is why mine are very shaky and honestly this was not legal for me to have done 
if you've read any of dan brown's books you'd have heard about this chapel and that is why i was so insistent on making sure that i went there it's quite beautiful but it was a bit underwhelming for me it's still beautiful though so there's a priest in the vatican and i just met him and i'm so excited i just saw him sitting there and i was like and it says art and faith a priest for you and i decided to just go and he's nigerian too like he's actually like from anambra state what a coincidence it was the most beautiful but random thing he's like to just like talk to people if you want to talk to um anyone so i just decided to go and i'm like oh my god he's nigerian <laughs> it's so cool like the one piece i've seen here it's nigerian So I know it's dark, but it's just 5.30 p.m. and we're just leaving the Vatican Museum. We've just finished looking at everything. It was a really, really... Okay, I can take this off now. I just realized. Yeah. It was quite an experience. It was really fun. My legs really hurt because we haven't rested since yesterday. But overall, this is like one of those things I would say, oh, like experience it yourself at least once in a lifetime. Because even videos will not do justice. There are a lot of people here, a ton of people. I'm probably going to uh, go to the hotel try to have some dinner and sleep because we need to sleep this was a summary of how my day at the vatican museum went it was truly phenomenal and is this somewhere it seems like you'd like to go thank you so much for watching this video if you have not subscribed please do see you in my next video